finished washing the van. Well, actually, that was two days ago in my time. It started to rain, I was at work. I never had time to finish it off, so um, I've had to bring it to the yard. But just in that two days, look at the amount of uh, streaks that have built up. Just in two days, and that's pretty bad. But typically, it's always on the GRP section of the van. This van is, um, uh, the sides are aluminium, or aluminium, as they say across the pond. And the GRP section on this van is the, uh, the roof, here, and the back. And you can always tell by the touch. Sometimes the GRP section or the fiberglass section is, uh, is uh, warmer to the touch than, fiber, than um, uh, aluminium. So that would be cold and also it's tinny and not so tinny. And uh, in time what happens is the, uh, the GRP section, if not maintained constantly, um, will kind of like a blemish or get like a, a chalky oxidisation, if that's the right word. The older the van obviously that happens more and more how it gets worse but uh, if you keep on top of it it don't happen but not a lot of people um, keep on top of cleaning their vans I mean who wants to they're huge huge things to, to clean all the time and uh, expensive to get done professionally but as you know you watch my videos I like to do it and, and keep on top of these jobs but this is uh, this bit here this just just went over this bit with the uh, chamois here and it's got the basis of it off it's got a little bit off but not all of it but on the aluminium part of the van it should just uh, they should just wipe straight off if of course um, you clean your van a lot but now I think I'll get the ladder and uh, get up there and show you how I like to get the streaks off there was one thing actually I did a video not long ago and somebody left a comment and I'll I'll read you the comment because these streaks, as we all know, are a nightmare. <laughs> they drive me absolutely insane, and I'm sure everyone else as well, when you caravan and motor home. Um, so, someone put here, David Archibald, actually, I hope you don't mind me mentioning your name, he's put, the black streaks come from the pollutants in the air, which settle on top of your van, and are then washed down in the rain. People who live in or around large cities or industrial sites will notice it more. And uh, yeah, he's bang on with that one, I reckon because um, you know I clean that roof regularly and although it's a hard job no one likes to do it I try and do it two days later three days later they're back just like that as well so no matter how clean your roof is they still come back so let's go and get the ladder and get up there and um, do something about it get asked about this letter so what I'll do is I'll leave a um, link to it in the description below let's get on with some work so I'm using auto glim super resin polish and I'm just putting on about about that much just like that and then just spread it around in a cloth like that that's my on cloth and this is my off cloth and all I'm using is a uh, mutton cloth or stocking it ready cut and uh, that's it ideally you want to be doing this in the summer a bit of a muppet doing it at this time of year but I just can't stand looking at them <laughs> so again this is not a how-to video 
I'm not saying this is how it should be done. I'm saying all I'm saying is that it's what works for me and how I like to do it. And it does work for me. So as you can see it's coming off. But the worst thing about doing this is you know it's just gonna come back. There's no permanent cure to it, which is the most annoying thing about these streaks. And as you can see there, it's come off. There's a nice little shine under there. But as I said before, when the van has been exposed to a lot of sun, been parked up a long while, um, this will blemish, oxidise, whatever you want to call it, and fade over the years. But uh, kept on top of, and you do it regularly, it'll always stay nice. But the GRP section will always be that little bit darker than the, uh, depending obviously the colour of your van, if you've got an all white van like I have, it'll always be that little bit darker than the, um, the aluminium part. wondering why I've not put anything behind here it's because I've already put two little bits of velcro just there and just there so that it doesn't mark the van when I put it up against it the ladders up against it oh yes this is coming up lovely if I don't say so myself <clears throat> I'll end up in A&E mind you but coming off this ladder in a second but as long as the van's clean, eh? <laughs> this front bit here, above the cab, is always the hardest because um, it's the most exposed to the elements, even up there and underneath, as we all know. But getting up there is the problem. <laughs> the professionals use towers to get up there, don't they? And uh, give it a, do a proper job. But um, I mean, it's coming along fine with this ladder. It's ideal really. And um, we're getting there. So I polished up a little bit of the uh, aluminium section as well, just above this line. And um, your, your streak remover spray will be fine on that, but you'll have a tough time getting um, the real tough streaks off with uh, the streak remover spray, especially from the GRP sections. Job done. And. Uh, feeling a little bit out of breath. That looks, uh, looks fine to me. 
it's impossible to tell with this uh, really bad lighting but uh, I'm pleased with that another job done I've just uh, packed everything away and I'm just gonna go in the van now and uh, since the van's in storage if you've watched my videos before I always like to put a little bit of um, the floor up before I leave the van down the aisle <laughs> I'm down the hatch it only, only a little bit this is uh, there was just a little bit of this left actually it uh, don't usually come in that color it only goes white when you mix it but uh, it goes a long way there was a couple of capfuls left in there uh, I topped it up with water and I'm gonna put a bit in the whoops bit in the toilet as well I'm sure you want to see in my uh, my toilet but it is clean also a little bit in the sink I only need a little drop and a little bit in the shower tray or in the shower sorry down the plug hole and that will be enough to uh, keep your van smelling nice and fresh whenever you come back even up like a week or two later it still uh, it still smells nice so on that note thank you for watching i hope that little video helped um as i said it's not really um a tutorial it's not really out telling you how to do it it's how i like to do it and it's always worked for me and i thought i'd share it with you so again thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon